Hello, Anthony Asquith of Dentcom and Affinity Training. It's 2016, boom! Welcome back, thank you for taking the time to watch this video with me today. Um, last few videos, we've looked at the, the DISC personality, per, personality profiling system, and we explored in the first video the dominant style of DISC, the people who are task-driven and outgoing in their speed and nature, the likes of Alan Sugar, uh, Gordon Ramsay, the second video, we then looked at the inspired style, the second letter of DISC. The inspired style are people who uh, are people people, they're outgoing. The likes of Jonathan Ross, Jim Carrey, James Corden, uh, Will Smith and people like Alan Carr, um, Chatty Man, are, are all very much that type of genre. Today, however, we're going to look at the other sector, the third sector of the DISC style, the S types, the sensitive uh, personalities, um, people who are very much more um, reserved and have a people-based focus. They are often to be found working in healthcare, they're often to be found in um, hotel services, they're often people that are um, tasked to look after other people, ensuring that people are comfortable. They value uh, things like stability, family, they're very supportive. Uh, want to protect others, and as you can see, that they're, they're, they're um, a much more sensitive, warm, kind, caring in group of individuals than perhaps the other two outgoing groups. And just taking a look at the image, you can see that the sensitive person is characterised by the colour blue um, to encourage, if you like, a warmth, a kindness, the warmth of the sunny sky above. It's big, wide open, uh, approachable, they're friendly, they're kind, they're considerate of others. They get up in the morning first thing and usually uh, one of the first things they want to do is to try to see who they can help at any point during the day. Helping others <laughs> makes them happiest at all times uh, and they're supportive, they're considerate, they're kind, uh, they don't like any forms of aggression, want to always calm things down in a workplace or in a family environment. This is very important to them. Peace, harmony, sharing time together are very much all the doyen aspects of the, uh, the sensitive type. And um, to get a sort of idea of what their needs are, I'm going to show you a short and very, very brilliant video by a gentleman called Dr. Robert Rome uh, talking about um, a story of his mother, who is an S-type, S-sensitive style type, uh, interacting with a cautious style clinician. Um, and ex as you watch the film, consider the different needs of the two different personality types in action as they work together towards um, uh, improving the, 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 mother's, um, the mother's medical condition. See what you think. I took my mother to have surgery. My mother had to have a cataract removed from her eye. I went online and I found the information. My oldest daughter, Rachel, actually went online. She sent it to me and found out all the information about the doctor. This doctor is the head of eye surgery at Emory University. This guy's mega brilliant. People fly from Europe to come to Emory University for this guy to fix their eyes. I could tell from reading the website he was probably a real high C type personality. My mother has a lot of S in her, so I told my mother, I said, Mama, this doctor is probably not interested in getting to know you or me. He's there for one reason, to fix your eye. And so when we go, let's don't remember, Mama, look at me, we're not going to get a date, okay? <laughs> we're, we're going, I am talking to my mother. Now here's the thing that's so powerful. I'm coaching my mother on what's going to happen with an individual I've never met. You see how personalities affect what you're going to do. So we got in the hospital, I mean, we got in the doctor's office, connected to Emory Hospital. I was sitting in the chair. My mother's sitting over there. The nurse had gotten her all ready. There's this machine that the doctor looks into. We're sitting there. We waited in purgatory for about 30 minutes, you know. And the doctor walks in. He gives me a real warm, nice welcome. How you doing? We walked over. He sat down. <laughs> he sat down on this stool, grabbed the back of my no mother's neck, and he said, would you pull your head up close here? And he's looking through here. He slides a chair over, makes a note, pulls it. He said, look up, look down, makes another note. He said, one more time to the left, to the right, makes another note, gets up, walks out, says, surgery, 930. And he's gone. He's thir surgery, Thursday, 930. And he leaves. Well, my mother's like shell-shocked. 
And I said, Mama, remember what I said? He's here to fix your eye. Mama, if we could have brought your eyeball up here in a jar <laughs> and left it on the counter, he would have been fine with that. <laughs> Thursday came. We went and did the surgery. He did the surgery after it was over. I was in with my mother in recovery. The doctor came in to his credit. He's a little more friendly, a little more bedside manner after it was over. He said, Mr. Rome, he said, let me take the bandage off, and he took it off. He said, you might not be able to really have, see crystal clear until this afternoon. It takes a few hours. He took the bandage off, and he, he looked at it, and he said, he, he looked at my mother, and he said, well, I, how, how, do you, how does it look? How do you see? My mother said, she's almost 80 years old, my mother said, I can see better than I've ever seen in my life. And he said, thank you very much. We tell, he walked out of the room, and I looked at my mother, and I said, that's what we came for. <laughs> now, if I did not understand personalities, here's what I'd be telling you today. My mother had one jackass of a doctor. I can't <laughs> believe it. I mean, he was unkind, and he was cruel, and he was short. You see, you misunderstand the whole thing. Instead, I thank God for that man and his brilliant mind. His personality in what he was doing had very little to do with the profession in which he was trying to accomplish. And what you saw up here was when you're working with people, it coordinates real well. When you don't, all you do is create frustration, friction, and have a whole lot of heartache on your hands. Now, as you can see from that, um, that one video alone, uh, the clinician's approach to dealing with the situation was very different to the, uh, to the prescribed needs of the, of the mother. She wanted perhaps to get to know the clinician a little better, uh, to have more time with him, to get to understand his approach to the way the work was. She probably wanted just reassurance that the procedure was going to be safe. On the other hand, his approach was, well, you know, give her the eyeball, give him the eyeballs and he'll just do the work there and then. Um, wasn't really into her feelings and in her emotions. Now, if you think that through, the kind of heartache that could have occurred was if the medical outcome was really poor, um, it's probable that she might have considered um, suing the guy for malpractice because fundamentally she wouldn't have liked him. She wasn't predisposed to be really um, someone he, he, that she was going to like because he just wasn't into sensitivity and kindness. He just wanted to do the task. Of course, we'll, we'll look at the cautious types uh, on the next video. Um, what's also interesting to consider is just who you tend to find that are actually uh, people that are, we know who are uh, sweet and sensitive. Um, that doesn't mean to say they're pushovers or uh, unable to make them their way in the world. Surprisingly, the types of people that are, in, are interestingly uh, sensitive are, are people like, for example, David Beckham. I mean, for heaven's sake, could you imagine a, 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 a top international world-renowned footballer actually is so keen when he's on his videos um, talking and when he's, when he's being interviewed on television, he's so keen on his children. In fact, you know, he now relishes and, and is, is so pleased he gets to spend so much more time looking after his four children. He talks about how his daughter, you know, melts his heart and he's got all the three children that he's, um, three of his boys into martial arts so that they can all protect her from, from men when they grow up. Um, other people that, uh, interestingly enough, fit this bill are uh, people like Michael J. Fox, uh, Susan Boyle, and bless her heart, Lady Di, when she obviously is no longer uh, with us. Um, the campaigning and the, the work, the profound work she did for helping uh, the landmine causes in, in, in Africa uh, and those types of places. So the sensitive person wants harmony, wants peace, wants calm, wants tranquility, hates fighting, dislikes any forms of ambiguity, um, always wants the safe options. And if you're working with them, think about you know the things that they're good at, particularly they bring harmony into the workplace, they're organized, they often um, will appear perhaps a little slow to get stuff done. If you're more dominant, back off, um, slow down, be nice to them, be friendly. If you're friendly, surprisingly enough, they work faster and harder because they actually work because they like you. And so if you're a dominant person, ease back a little bit, don't keep you know, looking at the watch and thinking, is that all the work you've done? Come on, you can work faster than this. Go up and encourage them and praise them. Let, you know, uh, give them time to talk talk with you. If you're a cautious person, <laughs> God's sake, just be nice, yeah? 
just smile a little bit say hello to them smile at them in the mornings when it, when when you come in if you're a boss they will enjoy your smile much more than a pay rise by a long way <laughs> so um i hope that's given you a, a nice update on the sensitive personality types uh, next week uh, we're going to be looking at or next next visit we're going to be looking at the cautious personalities the amazing people who are practical single-minded concise uh, always got to be right and always like to follow the rules uh, in the meantime do hope you enjoyed the video uh, please feel free to look at some of the other videos on my blogs and share those with your friends share those with family and in the meantime hope to have uh, hope you have a nice week and i'll see you very soon cheers for now bye Ele não vai mais